another special case for this equation is when we set KD equal to L. So in this case, we substitute in KD or L. So in this case, we'll uh, substitute uh, KD where there are ligand concentrations. And we get KD over 2KD, which is equal to 1 half, or 0 0.5, All right? Okay, and so that's really interesting because what that says is when KD is equal to ligand, is equal to the ligand concentration, uh, theta is equal to 0.5. So in other words, KD is the concentration when half of the sites are, are uh, have ligand bound. Okay, and so that's really useful because then if we have a ligand binding curve like this, we can actually very easily uh, determine what KD is just by inspection. So for instance, this is the same ligand binding curve that I've been showing you the last couple of slides. If we set theta equal to 0.5 and we project a line onto 0.5 and then we project a line from that, uh, from that uh, point down to the x-axis, this line that projects across the x-axis will now cross the concentration that represents the KD. So in this case, again, because we're using uh, the oxygen pressure uh, as our ligand concentration, uh, this crosses at P50 of 0.5 torr, and that helps us uh, just be able to determine, okay, well, that's the number that we have for KD. Now, this is useful because we can also look at several binding curves by inspection. So let's say we have several binding curves uh, shown here on the right, uh, and these are different ligands that might bind uh, to our protein. So there's a black trace shown here, a red trace, a green trace, a blue trace, and then a dark blue trace. So there are five different curves here. So we can just look at these uh, and find out what the relative affinities for all these ligands are. So again, we set a line across uh, theta equals 0.5 and then project a line from each of these curves down to the x-axis like this. And these will cross then at, for instance, for the black trace is a P50 of 0.1 torr, uh, for the red trace a P50 of half a torr, the green a P50 of 2 torr, the blue a P50 of 5 torr, and the dark blue a P50 of 10 torr. And so, as uh, we said, KD uh, and P50 in this case, the smaller the number is, the tighter the ligand binds. So the most tightly bound ligand is the one represented by the black trace, whereas the weakest bound ligand is the one uh, denoted by the dark blue trace. And so you can see this number, so 0.1 torr, we have a tighter binding for this, and you can also just kind of look at the relative shapes of the curve, that the steepness of the ligand binding curve uh, is going to indicate also uh, how quickly this reaches saturation. So the faster uh, that a protein reaches saturation uh, with the concentration of ligand, the more tightly that ligand binds. And so the slower it does, so instance for this dark blue curve, uh, that means that this ligand is bound uh, much weaker than the one represented by the black trace.